We are live in Slough for the American Sharia preview showing. Writer, director, comedian, and actor, Brother Omar Reagan. Peace be upon you all. Thank you for having me. On my build up and working in Hollywood, I was tired of being offered roles that didn't compliment me. Um, and roles that I didn't want to do. I went for Hodge in 2007. I also went again in 2008. And alhamdulillah, I was like focused on what I could do that I could still do me and then also I could benefit mankind or I could still live as a good Muslim. So alhamdulillah, I'm really happy. I started touring doing um, comedy uh, only with Muslims. And I got, I mean, I was happy and excited because People didn't know Muslims laugh. And then I thought, hey, why don't we have our own movies? Let's make our own movies. So I'm really grateful, I'm really happy that Allah blessed me with this beautiful idea to make movies. And it was a young lady who wasn't Muslim at all. Matter of fact, she was Jewish. And she said, I'm gonna help you make your film because I believe in what you're doing. I was like, Whoa. but you're Jewish? I'm making a lot of wood. It's not kosher. <laughs> she gave the rest of the money that I needed. She worked out all of these deals. She got me what they call favors, right? From her friends and things that would have cost me so much more money. She was negotiating and making things happen. And then I told her, P.D. Appeal said, we're gonna go on a tour. And she brought her family with her on the tour. And then they stayed for a whole week. And then she took them back home. And then she was home for about four days. And she was like, man, I'm missing the Muslims. <laughs> and she came back. And she's here with us. Y'all want to meet her? Oh, yes. Yeah. My producer, Tony Young. Welcome, County. Hi, how are you? How did you come across Omar Reagan and what inspired you to be a part of this project, American Sharia? Well, Omar was making his movie. Um, he had already gotten his pre-production done. He came to Detroit to film it, um, sent me a script. I read the script, realized that I had to be a part of it. The Halaliwood came with, uh, I went to an event, they had named it, Hollywood, and I was like, really? With some young students, and they was like, that's my story. I'm leaving Hollywood, I'm going Hollywood. And so then I was like, hey, can I have that? They was like, yeah, take it. My mama sent son in the movie. But in real life, he's my brother. Oh. Mujahid Coswell, brother of Omar Reagan, how are you? How am I? Yeah. Alive. I played a gunman. Blink, blink, blink. Um, yeah, he just, yeah, that's what he wanted me to play. There were cops, I was the bad guy. So we were shooting at each other or something like that. It was a mistaken identity or whatever. Uh, I don't want to give it all away or whatever. But um, things wind up being just kind of blown out of proportion. It's one of those kind of things. It winds up being a comedy. And this guy is my son. The sister said, oh! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I got arranged marriage at 17. <laughs> Just like a lot of you. <laughs> Welcome, Adris Ali. How are you? I'm doing great. How's your tour going? Oh, amazing. You know, I'm loving every minute of it. I played Jamal, one of the characters. And between, I was like, a radical but then the end you have to see the end but I was just involved in you know trying to make a change. It was a privilege to work with Omar. He's a really amazing man. It was an honor for him to call upon me. Was he serious behind the set? <laughs> Omar Regan is never. <laughs> ever. I thought you was Never serious, so no, he was not. I did um, the photo double for Chris Tucker and Rush Hour 2. It was fun times, but can you imagine Chris Tucker as Muslim? He'd be like, Salaam Alaikum! What you doing, man? Hey, man, we about to pray. We going to the masjid. I'm going to do a movie called Juma. We're going to talk about how we getting ready, man. It's a beautiful thing. So with all this humor, you managed to get all the work done? 
okay. You just laugh and you keep it rolling. That's all you can do. And our goal is to do two or three Hollywood movies every year. And our goal is to show that Muslims are a billion to two billion strong in the world. And then we watch movies so that our films, be it enough, can be bigger than Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> so he's been an inspiration to you? Who? Your brother. No, no, no. I'm the inspiration to him. You have to switch this around because I inspire him. Our drivers are not Muslims, right? I love that. Like Will and Joe, they're not Muslim at all. But we are in there, and it's so much, it's so much love and respect and honor, and that's from the Quran, and that's from the Prophet. I love it because now Will, first thing he did when he walked outside, he was like, "How could he not?" This organization, Penny Appeal, man. This Penny Appeal is amazing. I'm really grateful for them. I love them as family. Penny Appeal number. Y'all gonna sing it with me? Zero three thousand eleven eleven eleven. Woo! <laughs> Hi, I'm Wasim, and I'm the director of Martin and Communications at Penny Appeal. It's been a great tour. We're actually in Slough. Um, this is the 22nd screening of American Sherry and we've taken the film up and down the UK and it's all been in aid of orphans worldwide. It's going on a worldwide tour straight after this, so this is the first screenings in the world where we've been able to work in partnership with Omar Regan, in partnership with a new production company, Halaliwood, to bring the film straight to you. Why did you choose the name American Sharia? I, choose, I chose the name American Sharia because in America they, um, they're attempting to ban Sharia in different states in America <laughs> and there's no Sharia in America so how do you ban something that's not even there um, and I was like I think that that's ironic and it's just really it doesn't make any sense to me so I wanted to re-educate people about what Sharia really truly is and also my father uh, may Allah have mercy on him in 2009 he was killed um, by the government 20 times he was shot and they said the claim was he wanted to establish Sharia in America. Well, that, I mean, none of it was true. And then later they came back and apologized. But my father is gone. And I mean, still, I mean, what is the claim? So I was like, what are they scared about Sharia for? So I wanted to re-educate people because I think that somebody have taught them that Sharia is something that it's not. Sharia means a street. Sharia means it's a water. It's a, it's a road leading to water. So... I just wanted to re-educate Muslims and people worldwide, whoever taught them what Sharia is something to be afraid of, I wanted to re-educate them. So essentially, would you agree that your father inspired you for this movie? Oh, my father is a big inspiration for the movie and I'm really happy that with visual effects that he's in the film. So I'm really happy with that, um, that you can see my father actually starring in this movie, even though he's been away from the earth five for over five years. So I'm really humbled and I'm excited about that. And it's actually one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Of course, he's an inspiration to me. He, he definitely is. But at the same time, we, we have similar inspirations. We had good teachers. You know, we have an Islamic background. We were raised um, um, in the masjid. You know, so we were taught, you know, how to speak Arabic, how to read Arabic, you know, um, spoke English too. We spoke three languages, Arabic and English and, and bad English. And, um, you know, you can tell when we got over here, we spoke bad English. Now, you managed to get the A-list stars, Eric Roberts, the YouTube stars, the Nasheed artists and comedians. How did you manage to bring them all together under one roof? Well, I'm really happy, man. Eric Roberts is a very, he's a top actor, man. Um, I was honored, like, I'm a big fan of him from way back and best of the best. Uh, and so for him to even say yes to an independent filmmaker like myself, even with a story like myself, is extremely humbling. And also my YouTube stars, what I wanted to do was, um, Adam Saleh and Sheikh Akbar, they have a very huge fan base and they're there with the youth. I wanted to come together and say, hey, look, this is finally something for all of us. So I wanted to do like Hollywood. I wanted to bring in the Muslim stars. These are Muslims who have a strong fan base. Yes, the Spaz, Adam Saleh, Sheikh Akbar, 
Preacher Moss, the Kadir Latif, the Joshua Salams. There's, these guys are Nasheed artists, they're comedians, they're YouTube stars. They're amazing individuals in their own light. We've done so much in terms of raising money for orphans and actual got an exclusive figure for you. Um, we've actually raised enough and been promised enough and we've hit the one million mark um, and it's fantastic um, to know that all the hard work and all the long nights and the driving and the touring has all been in aid of orphans worldwide. So I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's watched us, who's supported us, who's donated. Um, massive Jazakul Khair and hopefully we can come back next year and do a bigger, better tour. Throughout this movie, your humour aims to build bridges across religious, racial and social divides. That is no easy task to do. How did you do it? Well, alhamdulillah, I'm happy. I think that we just tell the truth. Um, in the Quran, it tells us to speak a word direct and to the point. So if we tackle these issues straightforward, because Islam is amazing. Islam covers all, it gives a solution for every problem that's out there. So I want to just focus on Islam rather than focusing on the opinions that people have. There's, today there's a big difference between Islam and Muslims. But I think if Muslims go back and they really study Islam and follow Islam, Islam is warm, Islam is peace, Islam is amazing, Islam is comforting, Islam is love. One of the reasons why the Prophet ﷺ was sent and was the last messenger and Allah nicknamed him the beloved of Allah was because he came with love. And love is the key. The Prophet loved his enemies. He loved his friends. He loved his enemies. He loved people who hated him, people who hurt him. He still loved them. So if we can push that, that love, regardless of how people treat us, regardless of what they say, we still have to love them. And that is Islam, and that's what we want to promote. And I believe that as that is our focus and our mission, because we study the Prophet them then we'll be able to make a change and make the world a better place with our production company and our films and our message. I always wanted to do Dawa on Sesame Street. I actually believe that the first person may take Shahada would be Elmo. Can you imagine that? Elmo took Shahada, he'd be like, Y'all forgot to record me telling y'all where to follow me at. How they gonna find me? You gotta find me at Moo to You. M U, the number two, and the letter U. It's easy. I'll see y'all later.